That's the length people go for to make sure that they pass the German test. And I asked him like, what all nine mistakes did you do? And uh, he gave me a very lengthy answer, very honest answer. And that's really beneficial to people who really don't know what they're doing. I know why you are here and what you are looking for. Even I was looking for some videos that would give me motivation to clear my German driving license exam. However, before starting this video, I wanted to confess something and I have absolutely no shame in admitting I failed my German driving test three times. Yes, three times in a row. Where I completely lost the belief in myself that I could even drive. I completely thought that the German process is just not for me blame the process for the entire day. But the question is, how long is that complaining gonna go on for? Not forever, right? Accepting the fact that it was just one bad day took me until I really made it. Let me be clear, you're not alone in this. One in two people who apply for the German theory or practical driving test fail. Do not believe me, right? Stay tuned to know more about the harsh reality for obtaining a German driver's license. One thing that I understood from my 11 months of ordeal was that the driving license in Germany is considered as a responsibility and not your birthright to hold one. I failed my German theory exam once and I failed the practical exam of my driver's license three times. So I'm sure you have already judged me by now. Judge you? Well, it's not really a big deal to get a driving license in Germany. Why? What makes you think so? I was able to clear it in my first attempt. As simple as that. I'm glad you passed it in one go because the statistics say a different story altogether. Similarly, how one has not experienced coronavirus and deems it to be non-relevant and non-existent chaos in our lives. Here's a little background about me. I initially learned how to drive back in India. I have driven in Indian traffic since I was 18 years of age. That is around 10 years of driving. If you do not know about Indian traffic, then just Google it. What I did not consider back then in 2019 was how long and draining process would it be for me to get a German's driver's license. In addition, the fact that I did not consider was that I was doing this inside Frankfurt city, where trams, public buses, cyclists and pedestrians throng the street every day. I started back in the month of January and it was not until 6th of November 2019 that I finally got the coveted German driver's license. Just to give you a quick look on how many people fail the practical and theoretical driving test in Germany, I looked at the reports from Kraftfahrt Bundesamt and found that since last 10 years, the percentage of failed attempts are increasing at a steady pace. In 2019 alone, 43% people did not pass the practical exam for B class. Even I have contributed to that number. The numbers show a 8% rise in total theory exam fails and 8.7% rise in practical exam fails all over Germany. This means today nearly half the test takers fail the German driver's license exam in theoretical and practical both. The three reasons for high failure cited here by the experts are the increase in non-German speaking applicants, the theory test has gone digital where complex traffic sequences can be shown as compared to a normal paper drawing, and older students who did not want to learn to drive until they were in their mid-twenties are much more eager to learn than the most of the young students. This is a very big reason why the power of the German driver's license is ranked third all over the world. Even now if you want to clear the theory test you need to memorize 1000 plus questions. Uh, that's around 1039 questions or so which is which takes a lot of time. For me it took me almost like three months to get through those questions that is from January until uh, March because I cleared my test in April. The thing is like when I failed my test, it was really, really uh, demotivating for me and I was looking for some videos uh, where people might have shared the experiences that how they failed the exam. Uh, but unfortunately, there was none such uh, videos out there on YouTube. If there is something I can do for you guys, then that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this video because whoever fails the test looks for some motivation or some videos where they know uh, how to take this forward because there is a lot of money invested in this. So basically when you have spent a lot 
of your money altogether on this practical exam and have kept failing what happens is a moment comes when you think like okay either you can't gulp it or you can't throw it out you have to get done with it somehow see this is just a phase it will go off don't worry about it it's gonna go away for sure just stick to it that you're going to give the test next time after 14 days after you have failed and you'll pass it for sure it's just a process of 45 to 55 minutes while making this video i was looking for what all types of mistakes people do so i what i did is i looked for some questions like how people fail their uh, driving tests practical driving test in germany in Cora and I found one guy answering to one of those questions that he failed this test for nine times unbelievable nine times he failed it and the tenth time he passed it so I mean like that's the length people go for to make sure that they pass the German test and I asked him like what all nine mistakes did you do and uh, he gave me a very lengthy answer very honest answer and that's really beneficial to people who really don't know what they are doing wrong so i'll give the link of the quora question and answer which i asked the person in the description box below of this video and uh, yeah i'm sure that guy is a gem of a driver by now because imagine if someone fails an exam for nine times he knows what he has done wrong and it will keep on haunting him for the rest of his life that he's going to drive because he will know that he has strived for it. Now let's have a quick look at my three mistakes. Let's take this turn where I failed in my first attempt. There are two lanes for taking a left turn here. Ideally you should not change lanes while turning and it's always better to keep yourself on the rightmost lane. Well if you want to change lane after turning you should just indicate and change the lane. If you look at this signal closely the divided line ceases to exist and you tend to mix the lanes unknowingly. I did the same and failed. My second mistake happened at a traffic signal. Here I have tried to show my car in yellow. Hope you can see the yellow bonnet. I am waiting on the rightmost lane behind another car waiting to take a right turn. The traffic light is currently red. As soon as the light changes to yellow, you can see the cars getting ready to move. But you can also see Two pedestrians in purple and pink going to cross the street. As soon as the light is green, the car just ahead of me moves to make the right turn, but then just stops before the pedestrian crossing. The car ahead of me waits until the pedestrians have walked past and then goes further. At this point, the light is already yellow, but my instinct is to look at making the turn and not look at the signal. As soon as the light is red, my instructor has already pressed the brake button. This implies that I have failed the test. My last glance here should have always been on the traffic light before crossing it. And on my third attempt, the mistake was that I drove past a construction zone on an autobahn at 95 km per hour. I think I missed the speed signboard there. But according to rule of thumb, you should not exceed more than 80 km per hour when approaching and driving past a construction zone. So what are the lessons learned? Well, it's just a process and has nothing to do with you or your driving skill. So given a bad day, even the best of drivers will fail. So don't worry about it. Just give your best. The second thing is just take the every amount of right confidence you have within you because with that you can always pass the test. You don't have to be nervous, just be confident and move ahead. And once you cleared your driving license, then do let me know how it went for you. And if you like this video, then do not forget to like this channel, uh, share it, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, that will be something of a motivation to us as well. <laughs> bye bye.